So in this problem, we're told that a baseball team plays in a stadium that holds 56,000 spectators. With the ticket prices at $10, the average attendance had been 5,000. When the ticket prices were lower to $8, the average attendance rose to 15,000. And then we're asked to find two things. So first we're asked to find the demand function, and then we're assuming that it's linear, and then we're supposed to find um, like the ticket prices to find the maximum revenue. So let's just start with A. So the way I want you to think about this is, um, so first what we want to do is basically find the slope. And we're trying to find the slope of this demand function here. So how do we find that slope? Well, demand, I want you to think about the slope of demand as change in price. So change in price over our change in quantity. And quantity is basically just demand. So the change in the number of people like trying to buy our product, in this case, is just the attendance. So, and you can also think of this as just y over x. And then, so let's try and find this value. So they tell us that the change in price goes from $10 because we have ticket prices at 10 and then we lower it to eight. So 10 minus eight. So that's gonna be the difference between those two. And then what about the change in quantity or our attendance? And so uh, the attendance goes from 5,000 to 15,000. So 5,000 minus 15,000, that's gonna be equal to minus two over 10,000. And this basically equals just minus one over 5,000. And so right here, this is going to be the slope of this function. And so now what we want to do is actually find the function. So in order to find it, what we want to do is use point slope formula. So point slope formula is basically y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. And so you can see right here what equals y and what equals x. So y1 is basically, we're just going to pick a point. So in this case, we're going to use uh, when ticket prices are 10 and 5,000. So 10 is our prices or our price so it's on top so our y so our y is going to be 10 and then our x1 is going to be our quantity right so x which is 5000 so we're going to have y minus y1 and we know that that's 10 because we're just choosing this point right here we could have chosen 8 and 15000 but i think 10 and 5000 is easier so y minus 10 is equal to m we know what m is m is the slope that we just found so minus 1 over 5000 times x minus um our quantity and so we know our quantity which is our demand basically 5,000 and so we got it so now what we got to do is basically just um, simplify this so y minus 10 is going to be equal to minus 1 over 5,000 times x and then minus 1 over 5, uh, 5,000 times minus 5,000 is just going to be plus 1 and if we add 10 to both sides we're going to get y equals minus 1 over 5,000 x plus 11 so this right here is going to be our demand function. y equals minus 1 over 5,000 x plus 11. Cool. Now let's try and find b. So it says, how should ticket prices be set to maximize revenue? So basically what we need to do is first find the revenue function. So you need to know that revenue is going to be equal to our demand function right here. So this function, so our demand function, and they call it p of x, times, um, times x. And so let's solve that. So r is going to be equal to minus 1 over 5,000 x plus 11 times x. And so r is going to equal minus 1 over 5,000 x. And then so we're times by x, so it's going to become x squared. And then plus 11x. Cool. And so when we try and find a maximum number like this, we're trying to find the maximum uh, revenue. And then we're trying to find the ticket price for that. Uh, what we want to do is take the derivative of this, set it equal to zero, because we know that derivative, we're going to have a maximum uh, at zero when our derivative is equal to zero. So we're going to solve that for now. So let's find r prime, which is our derivative. And so let's find the derivative of this, so which is going to be equal to minus, and then we want to move the 2 down. So it's going to become minus 2 over 5,000. That's just basically 1 over 2,500. So minus 1 over 2,500, and then x, and then this is just going to go to 1. And then the derivative of 11x is just going to be 11. And I'm going to get rid of that one. So 11. All right, cool. Now we got a derivative, so let's set it equal to 0. So minus 1 over 2,500. x plus 11 is equal to 0. So we're trying to solve for x. So let's move 11 to the other side. So we have minus 1 over 2,500. x is equal to minus 11. And then let's multiply by... Uh, minus 2500 so this will just cancel and then we'll get x equals 
uh, minus 2,500, uh, minus 2,500, you can do this in your calculator, minus 2,500 times minus 11. So you're going to get 27,500. And so this is going to be the, uh, this is going to be our x value for this. So now what we want to do is that we got our x value. We're just going to plug it back into this function because now we got um, the attendance, right? So this is going to be um, our attendance. And then now we want to plug it into this so we can get price. So let's plug it in. So we'll get y equals minus 1 over 5,000 times x, which is 27,500 plus 11. And so if you want to do this in your calculator, you'll get minus 1 over 5,000 times 27,500. And then if you do that, you'll get minus 5.5, .5, and then we're adding 11 to it. So we'll get 5.5. .5. So this is going to be equal to 5.5. .5. So this is going to be our uh, price in order to find our maximum revenue. So like this would be the price that we set it at. So how should ticket prices be set? It's going to be $5.5. .5. So we're rounding to the nearest cent. I guess we could put a zero on it, but this is still going to work. And so, yeah, these are going to be the answers to this problem.